I was diagnosed with gray zone lymphoma. I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Invasive ductal breast cancer. B-cell lymphoma. I was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Multiple myeloma. Stage four breast cancer. I was 52 years old. I was 58 years old. I was 69 years old. I was 52 years old. I was 53 when I was diagnosed. I was 62 years old. I was 29. A group of oncologists in North America, primarily in the United States, but also in Canada, um, decided that they were going to figure out a way to funnel research money to Israel to help promote cancer research. ICRF supported our lab in early days when I was just establishing my lab after I had, I had returned from postdoctoral training at Harvard and uh, I joined Tel Aviv University. And at that time, it was very difficult for a new lab to get uh, significant grants. Israeli scientists are as talented as any group of investigators in the world. They've made major contributions to our understanding of cancer, as well as uh, many other disease processes. We fund all forms of the most promising kinds of cancer research, and our decision tree is strictly based upon the quality of the submission from the Israeli scientist. I can tell you that this is one of the most rigorous evaluations I've seen and funds are awarded to those individuals who we think have the talent to make those major discoveries. So it makes the Israel Cancer Research Fund so unique. All of the money sent to Israel is directly used for research. And they've come up with some pretty remarkable discoveries and have contributed to really several blockbuster drugs. One of the most important discoveries came from the laboratories of Dr. Hershko and Chikanover. They made an observation that led to the awarding of a Nobel Prize. They discovered how proteins were degraded, and this led to the development of a novel therapeutic, Velcade, that has allowed us to advance the therapy of multiple myeloma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and has resulted in us being able to cure patients and extend the life of thousands of patients. ICRF stands out among all the other funding agencies uh, in terms of ongoing, continuous support of cancer research uh, in Israel. Numerous investigators, uh, young investigators and established investigators uh, over more than four decades. These are breakthrough therapies. These are therapies that are really, have fundamentally altered the way that cancer is treated. The reality is that the discoveries made by those investigators will benefit all of mankind. In Israel, they have an expression, it's called tikkun olam, it's heal the world. And it's a feeling of Jews to try to help everyone in the world and to make the world a better place. I've been through three courses of treatment. I'm now starting a fourth. And at least three of those have involved drugs that weren't available 20 years ago. The diagnosis was actually made by my son, who was a physician, emergency room doctor, who actually was trained in Israel. The uh, uh, medicines, uh, if you will, the chemo that's kept me alive is uh, it's Velcade. I take Velcade now uh, every week. I never thought that cancer was going to be a part of my narrative. When I heard those three words, it was incredibly devastating. It was hard to sort of get my head around the whole experience. For having such a rare cancer, I really owe, you know, the medical team that saved my life a great deal because everything that they were able to discover about my disease had to do with the fact that research played such a critical role in the last couple of years. With my disease, medical research represents hope. It represents uh, the medical condition that I'm in now, remission, without the advancements of, of new drugs, targets, and therapies, it's entirely conceivable that um, my disease would have been much more difficult to manage. I was so sick, and I was bald, and I had no eyelashes, and you know, it's all, that's, that's all hard, it just, and it all compounds on itself. But I got to wake up every day, five years later, and I'm still here. I can't imagine what going through this would be like without having a family and a support system that en en envelops you and, and, and heals you.
by supporting ICRF and supporting their research in Israel, you get to support research in a country that has limitless possibilities without that kind of research. So many women just like me wouldn't get well. Israel has a really special place in my heart. I was married in Israel this past May, and it was a pretty amazing experience. Israel has a lot to be proud of. They have some of the most world-renowned physicians and researchers. So I feel really grateful because I am the direct result of what research and technology advancements can do. The economic impact that this program has in Israel itself. These are scientists who, instead of going to Europe or the U.S. to be funded for their research efforts, stay in Israel and, and perform their research there. People all over the world are benefiting from these breakthroughs. These are dollars that are incredibly well spent and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. In fact, we can see ICRF's fingerprints on every important discovery in the field of cancer research that has been made in Israel. It's been four years now and uh, I've been able to enjoy my children, my family, my grandchildren. I'm very lucky. You know, the research that's being done in Israel because of this organization, it's, it saved my life. I can't tell you how excited I am about the prospect of the discoveries that will occur within the next few years, which are gonna revolutionize the way we treat cancers. And I'm confident that the scientists from Israel will be in the forefront of making those advances. Thank you, ICRF. Thank you, ICRF. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting ICRF.